Okay, so now I'm going to be hooking this. I've connected my positive and negative over on the UPS, and then I'm taking my red line and hooking it to one of these T connectors with the spade terminal built in so it can just connect, snap right there to the battery. Now, unfortunately, I only have a blue here, but that blue is going to be our negative. Um, oops. So we're going to snap that down on the wire and then feed the terminal on there, spade terminal. So now at this point the battery does have a connection so we should be pulling back from the battery to the UPS here, the positive and the negative lines. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to take my multimeter and put it on 12, or 20, excuse me. Then I am going to test this, first of all, the battery connection again. So applying the positive here, the negative here. You can see I'm just under 12 volts back there, 11.93. Now I should basically be registering about the same thing on the inside here can see if I can hit the negative terminal right there, the screw terminal, and the positive screw terminal. Kind of difficult to do, but you can kind of see now I've got it at 11.94 on the other end here. So pulling back from the battery into the UPS right now without any connection, which means we could now hook up our positive out, our voltage out, and get a reading. Um, so this end should be good. Um, we would want to test next the coming in from the surge suppression and see that we're coming out of here okay. You can see our DC okay is not on because we're not actually plugged into anything here. So let's go ahead and find an extension cable and test some input to this line. So. 